Okay, we have a little afternoon challenge. Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video of Unplugged TV Australia. Eight days after the last drop and it hasn't changed yet. So I'm expecting another drop tomorrow or the day after. Eight, yeah, nine, 10, 11 days. That's usually the range when it happens. You can um, adjust your watch to it. And as always, after a hybrid drive last Saturday to the Tesla Model 3 test drive, the GOM goes nuts, showing 63 kilometers available in the battery. Uh, foggy in the background there we had some moisture this morning it was just beautiful outside you could really smell this moisture this humidity inside the air and ah, it was just amazing really nice but now I think we are back to a dry winter weather uh, there's no rain prediction at all so it will be dusty and dry again well, I've received several emails over the weekend, uh, people saying they were successful with the Lindquist and Dublin method in the last couple of days and weeks. Everyone is leaving their lights on accidentally, of course, um, and it accidentally resets the battery then. So what else can you do? Yeah, and some are a bit concerned about the warranty they have on the car and, and battery is still they don't exactly know what Mitsubishi will say when they go to a service and the battery has reset and others said look what can you do if you leave the light on accidentally and it doesn't turn off the system automatically and it doesn't protect the electronics and it resets everything uh, maybe we will see finally a software update very soon to um, disable the Lindquist and uh, Dublin method <laughs> somehow via software lock we have arrived at work now 10.1 ampere hours used uh, 15 or 13 degrees outside so relative cold weather and the gasometer went down by 31 kilometers for a distance traveled of 15 kilometers so twice as much uh, we've got a prediction of 25 kilometers left in the battery of the dog and I think this is pretty accurate. I think I can easily do 25 kilometers still. So when I go home, another 15 kilometers back home, and then I've got at least, at least another 10 kilometers in the tank, in the battery. So battery is still holding up strong, but wait until tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have a little afternoon challenge. Um, customer appointment. I looked it up on Google Maps and it is another 27 kilometers. I'm just starting the dog. Yep, plus 0 0.2 only. Uh, 27 kilometers and that's exactly what we need. I hope I can make it in full electric then. It's just another challenge I set myself, okay? I'll just program the navigator so we've got an overview how many kilometers we have to the destination and then back home. And the GOM actually here shows a 33, so, but I trust the dog in this case more, a bit more conservative, and let's see. Start. Okay, let's see what it says. Yeah, 31 kilometers, but this is the wrong route here. I'm not driving highway. I'm not driving highway. We are going around the highway. This is one kilometer further, but I can drive slower. So I hope this relation makes sense and I gain some energy for my drive home again to make it in full electric. Okay, let's go. Yeah, and this is pretty much 
what I need the navigator for even I know where the customer is but it gives me a good overview how much kilometer I still have to travel and how much kilometer I have left in the battery so I can optimize my driving style to make it hopefully in full electric and <laughs> this is the overall goal with this car it's the challenge I'm facing a lot of times when I have appointments after work just commuting to work and back home is not a problem but everything else it's good I like it uh, that's good we've got someone in front of us who is even slower than I am he's driving only 70 here in the 90 kilometer zone that saves me energy good on you mate it also looks like we've got very strong tailwind which is pushing us I should open the doors actually to um, have a greater surface to sail with the wind I'm pretty good I'm uh, 31 kilometers on the gasometer so that's that's pretty good and we have traveled um, almost five kilometers here having a really light foot and driving slowly and let the car coast um, pays off on the gum as well it realized this um, straight away and um, yeah rewards you with more EV kilometers at least on the display I'm very very gentle with the gas pedal very gentle you can see the power meter it's very low for 90 kilometers but the wind is pushing us I can feel it Just popping this letter in the mailbox quickly. So next destination, so through the customer 5.3 kilometers and the GOM still shows 22, but then we need to go home afterwards. Guidance, um, destination. So all in total 15 kilometers, 22 shows the GOM here and 19 here so I'm confident we can make it but I still have to be um, <laughs> when you read some of my comments under my videos people are saying then oh, Andy why why do you care about these few kilometers on petrol then you have saved 50 kilometers today already but why would you care about two or three kilometers on petrol every day when you do these trips but this is exactly the challenge I set myself I want to be as efficient as possible and I want to show what you can do with a car you can squeeze some kilometers out of it if you drive very carefully and this is the challenge I set myself pretty much every time so I try to make it in full electric if possible and this is in a possible range here and you can see by driving carefully and um, let the car coast you are saving a few kilometers here and there and then eventually you make it in full electric it's so much fun how boring would that be if you just drive the car normally could not make any videos because there was nothing to show nothing to talk about and nothing to complain about so here we go challenge accepted here all these little downhill sections here I use them to coast down here saving a few hundred meters here and there and this all adds up eventually and gives you the range you need you can see how brown everything is here we had, didn't have rain for months now all the water all the dams are all empty and it's really really depressing now <laughs> There's nothing growing, everything is brown and dried out, dusty, dirty. So hopefully we get some rain soon. Arrived here at the customer site with almost 50% battery left. 16 kilometers on the GOM here and 15 on here and we've got 10 kilometers until home. No problem at all. Yeah, that looks very safe to me now, hey? So that was quick and painless now actually not I have the computer with me now and hard drive upgrade Windows 10 update and guess what they don't have a backup so all the information are on the computer okay 
um, start live data. Let's just see what happened here. 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers. And someone recently left a comment under one of my videos saying, I don't have a PHEV myself, but I still watch your videos and experiencing the up and downs you have with the car. And this is exactly what it is. It is an up and down. Today is an up day, I would say. I really love, love uh, driving the car and stretching the kilometers, driving like Miss Marple, let it coast and take it very, very easy to make it in full electric. And it's brilliant. It is so nice if you can do that with a car, you know. But then on other days, I hate the car and I just want to sell it and get something else and go on with my life. It is an up and down. I don't think this is healthy over time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, now it goes downhill for the next uh, roughly six, seven hundred meters or so. I can just let the car coast here on 60 kilometers per hour using no energy at all and it just rolls it just rolls doesn't use any energy we've got nine kilometers left on the dogs gone and only three kilometers to drive so very very easy to do and again it, it just shows what you can do with a car how you can be super super efficient with a car some people drive super sportive I don't this is not what I'm doing I I just see the money I have to put in new tires and brakes and everything. I'll try to minimize the costs on mobility as much as possible with the PHEV here. And this is only possible if you drive it very carefully and on pure electric as much as possible all the time. And that's exactly what I have achieved tonight again. So going from home to work and then from work to the customer and then back home all in one go uh, yeah let me go through over the hills here back home and we have a quick look at the trip card from today then to see how many kilometers we have actually traveled Right guys, so let's stop the dog. Eight kilometers here on the GOM, seven kilometers here and still 39%. So I could have made another six, seven, eight kilometers easily, but that's cool. Uh, trips. So 44 kilometers I have traveled today and still got six, seven kilometers in the battery so I can make 50 kilometers with the car and this was with highway driving this morning 19.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is totally insane that is super high but 0, 0.0 liters is super low and from there I'm super happy today with the car with the car performance and with the end result of me making the 50 kilometers all in total with careful driving. I didn't drive super careful as I did last year when I had the old battery still in there and could barely make it home. But I let the car coast, I drive a little bit slower, I keep it easy with the acceleration and this helps of course to achieve these 50 kilometers in these conditions here. So and the tailwind of course, you always need tailwind right? Anyway guys Thanks so much for watching again. Thanks for all your support. Leave your comments down below. We will all see us again in the next video. You stay charged and drive electric. That's it. Bye.